Hi there, shipmates. Captain Paul Anzalotta here, Commanding Officer USS Gerald R. Ford. I want to talk with you today about the Secretary of the Navy's efforts in support of mental health awareness. So I have two main points for you. One is how much we care about you and your family. I'll tell you, as Navy leadership, you are very high on our priority list, the highest on our priority list in terms of how important you are to our mission and to our family. And the second point I have for you is just how many resources there are out there for you and how they interact and how they are there in a way to help you, help you directly, and how that won't impact your career. So I'll start out with a personal story. I was assigned to a ship a couple of commands ago. I've been in the Navy for about 27 years. This is a few years ago. Uh, I was assigned to a ship and we had a sailor who was in crisis. He needed help. Uh, and he had, he had gone far enough that he was, he was in a pretty bad situation and, and he had gotten himself into a precarious place and his own life was in danger. In that moment, he reached out to someone via social media. It was a friend of his. Actually, that person was around on the other side of the world, but they recognized what a problem it was and they called the command. They called the command's officer of the deck. The officer of the deck, even though it was the middle of the night, took quick action and contacted the commanding officer and the command master chief who responded right away. They got out of their beds, they got dressed right away in the middle of the night, this was about two in the morning, and they responded to the ship. They got to the ship in rapid fashion and were able to talk with the sailor directly in, in the position where he was and help him out, along with the help of the other professionals that were on the ship at the time. If you're not so certain about the people within the command and whether or not your situation might be able to be held confidential, you can go to the Fleet and Family Support Center. You can go directly outside, still to a Navy-associated uh, resource, and get that help you need. So I'll highlight a couple of those for you. One is the medical department on your ship or near your ship. You can always go to a medical provider and talk with them about an issue you're having and be, and be expecting confidentiality in that discussion. Also, you can go reach out to a chaplain or someone assigned to the chapel that's on the base near where you are and talk to that chaplain and expect confidentiality in the communications that you have. By that I mean that chaplain or that medical provider isn't going to call the command after you talk with them. In very, very few circumstances that might happen, uh, only if it's in an immediate danger situation. Um, and then I'll tell you, there are other resources in addition to those folks. You can call a DOD helpline. You can call the uh, Fleet and Family Support Center. That's near to every Navy base I've ever been on. If you drive over to Fleet and Family or if you call Fleet and Family Support Center and ask for a counselor, you will get one. And I can tell you, as the commanding officer of this ship, I don't get reports on that. I don't get a follow-up uh, notification saying one of your sailors came to us looking for help. Please take it from me. Uh, we have your back. We care about you. And there's a lot out there that we can do to help you out. Thanks.